to be the weekly reading for Taurus, um, the week of March 25th, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. And the first card that I have is the Five of Cs. And in the traditional tarot deck, the Cs and the Cups are the same thing. And although I don't always read these Cs cards um, in this particular deck the same way as I do the Cups, I am sensing this energy, this heartbreak, this heartache, and heartache energy that goes along with the Five of Cups. <clears throat> but I'm also getting um, like a catharsis with this cleansing. Like that a lot of old um, emotions, a lot of old, uh, a lot of old feelings are coming up to the surface. And this almost feels like a like a healing type of energy. Hmm. Let me read the rest of the cards. To, because to clarify that card is the Magdalene. And it says, you are stronger than you think. So yes, I do feel like you're going through some changes right now. And maybe even releasing some patterns or some things that no longer serve you. And uh, maybe that's what this cleansing is. It's like more of like a clearing energy. Um, some things coming to the surface for you to clear. That's what I got with those. Sorry if you hear my dog in the background. <coughs> um, there is a, this, this here is the fire card, the child creative spark card. And basically what I'm getting with this is that everything, um, everything that you want, like basically you're creating right now in your mind because whatever we focus on, um, it becomes our reality. And, you know, I had said in a, in a video that I did yesterday that basically the matrix is our mind. In our mind, which is the matrix, we create whatever type of reality that we want. And so right here, this is you creating. And this is a fiery, passionate type of energy. And so you're really going after what you want right now. And um, But first, it's, it's almost like you're in this energy here and you're clearing. And you're clearing some patterns. And you're moving into this energy here, this um, creativity where you can create more of what you want instead of stuff that you don't want, stuff that's caused you pain. But it's more like your soul searching right now, trying to really um, get in touch with yourself and what you really want right now. As to clarify that creative spark card, that child creative uh, spark card, we have free spirit. And this is all about you not really wanting to be tied down right now. Because basically the energy that I'm getting from these cards is that you need this time for yourself. Because maybe it's been a situation where you've gone from one relationship, one situation, one set of circumstances to another. And you haven't really pulled back your energy and recharged your battery and filled your own cup. <clears throat> or really gotten to, in touch with yourself and to really know what you want on a soul level. So right now you are a free spirit and you are kind of just in this, I wouldn't say so much healing, but a clearing energy, clearing old patterns, things that no longer serve you, releasing people in situations that no longer serve you. That's a beautiful energy. Because now we have the Crone Transmutation card. And how do you transmute? Well, transmute is alchemy. And it's taking... Um, it's taking metals and turning them into gold. And we do this on a soul level too. We take all of the fears and all the conditionings that we have had, that we have received from this physical world that we live in. And what we do is we turn them into love. We turn them into gold. So you take those fears because fears are nothing but illusions anyway. They're not real. And you flip them around and you look at them a different way. And when you do that, you send those fears back out into the universe and they return to you as love. And so you are transmuting right now and you are, like I said, you are clearing and you are cleansing and you are transmuting. That's a beautiful read, by the way. Beautiful. Just to clarify that transmutation card, 
is this prophecy, guidance, and direction. So you are following, listening to your soul energy. You're working with your soul energy. You're listening to your soulmates, to your angels. And you're following the signs. And you're following your spiritual guidance. And you are going within. This is all about spiritual awakening. This is all about Man, this is really, this is a beautiful read. This is all about connecting to your soul. This is all about going deep. And like I said, filling your own cup right now. It's all about self-care, making changes in your life. Things that you don't like, you're changing them. And here we have the illusion card. And these are those fears I was talking about. Any type th time these type of fears come up, or... um. Yeah, this is all about fear. And you know, it's been about fear for you for like the last two, a couple weeks, Taurus. There have been a lot of fears. And I feel like these are more like fears of, I mean, this is not like you're scared of snakes or spiders or phobias. This is more like the fear of intimacy. This is more like the fear of being hurt. And the message that came through is that you're scared of putting out more than what you get in return. Maybe you've been made a fool of. Maybe you've had your heart broken and you just don't want that to happen again. But these fears are nothing but illusions. And like I have said before, that when you protect your heart like that, you're keeping love away. You know, you want to transmute those fears into love. Be an alchemist. Because to um, clarify that card, we have the Golden Unicorn, Protector, Guardian, Champion. And once again, you've been protecting your heart. But you're keeping, like I said, you're keeping the magic away. See, when you're in that unknown, that void of the unknown where you just don't know what's going to happen, that's what you're scared of. But that is where the magic takes place at. Because when you're neutral like that and you don't know and you have released control of trying to um, control the outcome, that's when the universe can really work its magic. And you're in that magical unknown void right now. And don't be scared of it because those are some of the fears too. Fears of the unknown that came up. So let down your guard and stop protecting yourself. What are you protecting yourself from? You know, these physical circumstances are not even real anyway. They're all in your mind because whatever we believe to be true is true. Our mind is the matrix. So be more from your soul. Be more connected to your soul energy. And trust your souls got you all the time as well as the universe because you are the universe having a human experience and you got the death card and I'm pretty sure you had this card last week too and this goes along with that with that cleansing energy and that clearing you're clearing out old patterns you know and I, I feel very strongly like maybe even some childhood things have came up. And this is how you were conditioned. And yeah, another message that came up is maybe you're following patterns you were taught as a child. And they no longer serve you. And you want, you, you want a different type of experience for yourself. So you're really trying to clear that. Beautiful energy. Because to clarify that card, we have the happy family card. So you are wanting, right now, you are free-spirited. But you're doing this for you. You're putting yourself first. But you do want this. You do want this happy family card. And this doesn't necessarily have to mean, you know, having kids and having a You know, like, this could just be a partnership, a divine partnership. I mean, it could be getting married and having children. But just whatever would make, would give you a happy family life, basically, is what I'm getting from that. Because I'm going to bounce down here for a minute at the bottom because we have this house card. And this also, this also, I take the same exact way as I do that. That happy home. 
that is what you desire. But it's like you know that you have to do these things first. Then you have the Six of Seas, which is the pleasure card. And you do like pleasures. You do enjoy good food. You do enjoy good music. So this is really telling you just to connect to those things right now that you really love. And stay in that higher vibration. And release any type of addictions or toxicities or any type of codependencies or any type of dependencies right now. See, so you can be this free spirit. So you don't have that ball and chain around your ankle. And you can, you know, connect to, you know, a higher vibrational situation. One that isn't binding. One that does allow you to be a free spirit and does bring you pleasure. That message came through. Because to clarify that, we have the door to romance. And this is all about opening that heart up. This is coming your way. This is. Either, you know, you have a new love interest coming in or your love life is ascending to the next level. You know, I, I'm getting, you know, some type of soulful connection. Not just one of these 3D connections that you have had over and over again that you have gotten yourself into as a result of a pattern that you've been stuck in, that you've been trying to clear, that has your heart guarded now because you've been in the illusion of fear. But it is coming. It is definitely coming if it has not came your way already. This could be a divine partner, or soulmate, and twin flame. Beautiful reading. Because we have the official person card. And, and sometimes I take this card to mean like a job or a court case or a ceremony. And I do feel like this goes along with this, with this happy family in this home card. Now this could be marriage. This is something that you're wanting. But you know that you've got to get out of this old energy first. <clears throat> then we have the thief card. And basically what I'm getting from this card is that you're because you are protecting yourself, you're very scared someone's going to take something from you. Take more than what they give. That's the energy that I'm getting from this. You're scared someone is going to take more than than they give you. You know, maybe it's been a situation where you've been with, you know, I don't like labeling people or things or situations, but you know, a so-called energy vampire. Maybe you've been with people who have just sucked you dry. Maybe you've been in a relationship that's been lopsided where you felt like you loved more than you were loved, but you don't realize that was never even love to begin with. You have to learn what love is once you, you know, you transmute, become the alchemist. Because what you have experienced before has not even been love. Because any time that you are in a situation and there are fears at all, any type of fears, love is not there. Because love is pure and love is without any type of fears. And when you love somebody, you love them exactly right where they are. And you let them be a free spirit and grow. And you have all these things, the pleasure and the happy family and the happy home and the official, the happy home, the happy home and the, you know, the ceremony. And that's a beautiful, this is a beautiful read. <laughs> it really is. Well, if you would like to have a personal reading, I'll include uh, my information in the description of the video. Um, readings are $30 right now and I take a cash app and PayPal. Uh, thank you for watching.